plenty of unforgettable horror games in the world, but you would be shocked as to just how many of them give the player the ability to fight back. Silent Hill, Resident Evil, or even the likes of Dead Space all allow players to hurt or kill the horrifying creatures they encounter. While they are all still brilliantly scary titles, it does give the player a position of power within those games' worlds. Combat is usually made intentionally cumbersome or difficult to make sure that enemies players face are still frightening, but nothing is scarier than facing a foe that you have no chance of winning against because you can't hurt them. Without the ability to fight back, you are left powerless, and this invokes much more fear as a result. The following games understood that the less ability the gamer has, the more effective the horror of the video game can be, leaving you running around and hiding in a cold sweat. I am Kirsten from What Culture, and these are 10 terrifying video games where you can't fight back. Number 10 Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Silent Hill may have lost its muster in its waning years, with later entries making players too powerful and losing its inventiveness, but the Wii gave fans one last taste of just how strong the series can be, with one of the franchise's most overlooked gems. Shattered Memories is a reimagining of the first game in the series, and it shakes up the formula through its innovative use of motion controls. It allows the player to really feel the actions that their character, Harry Mason, performs, and this includes shaking an otherworldly horror that has latched onto your back. The atmosphere is also the demented, dark, Silent Hill experience fans have come to enjoy, with the soundtrack particularly good at getting under your skin. Previous entries contained combat that was appropriately ineffective to heighten the scares, but here combat is stripped completely. This makes the sequences where the player enters an icy dimension filled with monsters all the more frightening as you can only run, hide and block their path for temporary relief from their clutches. It contains some psychological elements that divided opinion, but there's no denying that when you are spotted by a disturbing creature in a realm that you're not welcome in, waggling yourself to freedom is a scary rush. Number 9. Penumbra Black Plague The first Penumbra had a combat system that was about as useful as a cactus toilet brush and wisely the developers completely removed the ability to fight back against the monsters of Greenland. Not only because it made playing the gameplay loop that much smoother, but it also heightened the tension of every enemy encounter as you could only run and hide to save your skin. The game really emphasises using in-game physics for all of its puzzle solving, as well as escaping some infected monstrosity. Players need to manipulate every object, open every drawer, or look behind every book on a shelf to find what they need to progress, and when being chased down they must close doors manually behind them to slow down their pursuer. With every single action requiring player input to swing things with a mouse, it makes the horror that much more rooted in reality and therefore scarier. The fantastic sound effects also allow for a feeling of isolation to set in, with every bang in the distance becoming suspect. It's not a long game, only around 5 hours, but for the duration of the experience, Penumbra Black Plague keeps you on your toes, with a realistic movement that is only amplified further with the lack of combat. Number 8. Clock Tower Director Hifumi Kono stated that he wanted to make a game that felt like a horror film, and boy, did he succeed in his efforts. Clock Tower sees players take control of Jennifer as she searches a large mansion and solves puzzles. The catch is that there's a giant garden shear wielding killer named the Scissor Man that will pop up at any random point and try to kill you. Whenever Scissor Man appears, it causes chaos as players have no means of defending themselves and must rush to hide until he loses interest. The game enters panic mode, and this can cause Jennifer to trip and fall while running away if she's too scared, adding extra intensity that'll leave you screaming as the Scissor Man gets ever closer. The game's raw atmosphere is stunning. You really feel like you were in a haunting classic horror film, with a rich colour palette helping to set the Dario Argento inspired visuals. The music, pace, and graphics all combine to create the perfect, creepy atmosphere to give you chills and make sure that you're never too comfortable. The cumbersome controls also perfectly add another element to the scares, as it leaves you frantically clicking away in worry you'll be cut to ribbons. Clock Tower is one of the first video games to understand the power of taking away a player's power to elicit fear. Number 7 Slender The Eight Pages Slender is now a figure that transcends the memes that originally started him, and one of the biggest pieces of media that helped elevate it worldwide was Slender. You're plopped into a thick forest shrouded in darkness with only a flashlight and basic text asking you to collect eight pages. Sounds simple enough. But then gamers soon realise that the mythological eight foot tall Slender Man is hunting you down at the same time. What seems like a primitive jump scare filled indie game actually has a ton of subtle details going under the hood. From choosing when the player gains the ability to 
to sprint, the battery life of your torch, to the movements of Slendy himself, it's all meticulously chosen in order to amplify the horror as much as possible. Players are powerless to stop the teleporting entity and leaves you in a mad scramble to try and finish the task at hand as Slenderman gets increasingly closer. His freaky, static-infused, featureless face being the last thing you'll ever see if he does grab you. The sound design is top-notch too, with the music subtly gaining more intense the more pages you collect, alerting you that the further you are to victory, the closer you are to death too. The droning, heartbeat-like bass thumping away before dramatic horror stings jolt your system. Number 6. Five Nights at Freddy's Five Nights at Freddy's appeared from out of nowhere to birth a media franchise solely dedicated to terrifying players. In an incredibly unique setup, players are tasked with monitoring numerous CCTV cameras that show where the evil mascots are currently located. They also have a light that they can shine down a hallway and a door that they can close to prevent their entry, but you only have so much battery to keep them operational. The animatronic villains are also a breath of fresh air for horror game veterans, as they eerily stare into the player's gaze the entire time until it's too late, and a metal nightmare is chomping down on your face. It becomes an intense chess match of managing your resources and keeping an eye on your surroundings as the animatronics begin bearing down on you. To make matters even worse, the player is not able to fight against the mad animal puppets in any way. They can only, hopefully, delay their attack long enough to reach 6am. This series may have suffered from overexposure and diminishing returns with later entries that experimented too much, but make no mistake that the original is still an insanely scary challenge. Number 5. Outlast Outlast initially appeared to be just another first-person horror game in the, by then, oversaturated genre from the early 2010s, but gamers were caught off guard by just how effective this trip into an insane asylum was. Players use their own eyes or a video camera to see where they are going, and some areas are so dark it forces you to peer into every corner in order to make sure there's no malevolent force waiting to pounce on you. Gamers found that there were no way to hit back or even slow your enemies down, leaving them on a mad dash for their nearest cupboard or underside of a bed to escape their own grisly murder. Areas also get increasingly challenging as the late game has you crawling through tight corridors with little room for error or extremely limited places to hide. All you can do is run and hold your breath. With most of the game set in pitch black and your camera's night vision requiring constant batteries, it causes some terrific natural scares to happen as crazed lunatics erupt from the shadows. If you have the metal to handle it, definitely give Outlast a go for a frighteningly good time with a plot that only gets crazier as the game goes on. Number 4. SCP Containment Breach The SCP Foundation is a treasure trove of scary creations for horror fans to sink their teeth into, and so many of the inventive monsters lend themselves well to a video game. So when a game starring multiple of these disturbing deities came out, it naturally garnered the eyes of horror aficionados. Players take the role of a member of staff at the facility that houses and documents things that violate natural laws. Some of the creatures breach containment and now you have to escape the randomly generated building with your life while being chased. The game features a blinking mechanic. This comes into action with the first entity you encounter, which is a statue that can only move when not in direct sight of the player. This leads to some insanely tense moments as you may be cornered and forced to blink, causing the intimidating being to jump right into your face. Other bizarre yet terrifying creations include a screaming, elongated, limbed humanoid that will rush the player if they look at its face. Players cannot attack back in any way, and the entire game leaves you in a permanent suspense as you care carefully navigate the facility. A squad of agents is also sent in to recapture the monsters and gun down anyone they find for security, meaning not even humans are your allies. SCP Containment Breach is not only scary, but also a game that gets increasingly scarier with each new patch that adds another imaginative horror into the mix. Number 3. Power Drill Massacre a love letter to the days of 90s survival horror with games like Silent Hill and Resident Evil, Power Drill Massacre uses the unique blocky visuals that make it hard to make out just what you are looking at to evoke one hell of an unnerving atmosphere. After a car crash, players are tasked with searching a nearby factory for help, only to find out it's home to a mentally deranged serial killer whose favoured method of murder involves a certain toolbox utensil. You must search for three keys, but the killer is a super fast giant who can kill you in seconds, and the game can be brutally difficult as a result. 
The ability to inflict sheer panic into the gamer is what's most impressive as all the gameplay elements work to make you feel as vulnerable and confused as possible. The camera is purposely erratic, going in and out of being static angles or being control of the player, and of course you have zero ways of which to defend yourself. The phenomenal audio design is terrifying, with sharp 80s synth screeches mixed with the audio of the killer's hyper-realistic squealing as he chases you makes the first encounter with him an unforgettably horrifying moment. Playing this game is a terrifying journey into pure anxiety, and there's nothing you can do to prevent your inevitable death but sprint in any direction and hope you can somehow lose the unhinged maniac constantly nipping at your heels. Number 2. P.T. PT will forever go down as one of the biggest missed opportunities in video game history. A mysterious playable teaser for an at the time unannounced Silent Hill reboot, PT chilled players to the core with an almost perfect blend of intriguing gameplay, creepy sound design and chilling imagery. Gamers were forced to wander the same section of a house again and again, each time getting increasingly more scary as eventually the player is treated to the haunting visual of the spectre Lisa, standing ominously before a bulb smashes and she disappears into the darkness. From there on out it becomes a thrilling game of cat and mouse as Lisa stalks the player and they in turn try to deduce the extremely obscure puzzles of the hallway. Making things even worse, the player is completely helpless to prevent Lisa's attacks. All they can do is pray that they can avoid her death grip long enough to attempt to solve a puzzle in order to make any progress at all. You're completely vulnerable and as a result on edge non-stop. Truly one of the most frightening experiences in gaming history. PT's legacy is set in stone even if Silent Hill sadly is not. Number 1. Amnesia The Dark Descent the game that launched a thousand let's plays. Amnesia is often called the scariest game of the last generation and there is good reason for that. Not only do the nightmarish entities that hunt you look horrifying, but the sound design is also impeccable and playing through headphones in the dark is something all gamers should experience. Players can do nothing against the disfigured horrors that chase them down except hope that they lose their line of sight. To make matters worse, that the more you see them, the crazier you get adding to the anxiety whenever one appears as your screen becomes a mess of hallucinations and you increase your chances of meeting another monster. Even darkness is your enemy and players must keep their lantern lit to prevent Daniel from going insane. There are limited items to aid this, mixed with a crazy amount of physical objects you can move which means you'll be anxiously searching every last nook and cranny hoping to find precious resources. Amnesia understood that the more vulnerable you make the player, the scarier the experience. The end product is rightly praised as one of the most frightening gaming experiences around. And that's our list. What's the most terrifying video game that you've ever played where you can't fight back? Leave us a comment below and let us know. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. But for now, I have been Kirsten from What Culture, and I will see you in the next video.